Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to three videos. Two of these were sent in on Discord. I know the other one was as well at some point in the past, but it's been a while and I couldn't find the person who sent it. But you should know who you are when I react to the video. So the first video we're going to be watching was sent in by Valox. Um, I'm not sure when this was sent in. Probably on the 21st of October when the actual video came out. But it's called The Yellow Bear. And in light of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie being released this week, I thought, you know what? Let's watch this one to begin with. Valox is an amazing FNAF creator and just an amazing creator in general. We're going to just uh, look at the description here it says recorded 0705 1985 the paranormal was never really my thing but after many sleepless nights i just had to try at least once william is currently being accused for the murder of those missing children but there's no way it could be him he already knows what it's like to lose a child why would he ever consider taking that from someone else i need to clear his name the children's spirits are still in the pizzeria i spoke to one named cassidy who quickly became very aggressive and i don't blame her after all that's happened, now trapped within the animatronics mascots, it isn't fair. I want to help, but they won't cooperate. Currently in the hospital with a broken rib and leg. When I recover, I intend to find out what really happened that evening. Mr. H. Emily, 1985. Okay, interesting. Well, this guy's got a freaking broken leg and a broken rib and he's still wanting to go back there. This man's dedicated to his craft. I never used to believe in all this. I never used to believe. But after certain events occurred, I would like to try and communicate with possible spirits in the building. Okay, so it's like the paranormal investigation. Oh, good I God. I regret what we did. Disposing of those bodies ourselves to protect the company name. What? I... I want to make up for it all. And I need to know if he did it. Okay, so he... Wait, 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 wait a second. So, Emily found... Henry Emily found bodies in the animatronics and thought, oh my god. And rather than like think I should call the police, I should, you know, report this in, they, he thinks I'm going to hide these bodies because I can't afford my restaurant to close down. That is a very psychopathic way of thinking. You know what? You and William deserve each other. That guy literally just admitted on camera to disposing of bodies. Damn, they look dirty though. Are they covered in blood or... Hello. Is there a spirit in the room with you right now? I don't mean to bother you. I just need some help. Okay, so he's on the spirit box. Jesus, is he are they covered in blood? What? Oh my god, that's horrifying. Look at Freddy. It looks like he's just, like, got a finger up his ass or something. Why, why do I say that? It looks like he's having a prostate exam. God, don't turn back around. Oh, jeez. So this is Cassidy, right? Golden Thunder. Golden Freddy Cakes. Is there anyone in the room with me? Yeah, a big ass yellow bear suit. Hello? Uh, hello? Whoa, that was very clear. Right. Uh, what is your name? What? Could you please repeat that? Yeah, speak up, mate. What do I want? What want? Uh, I want to help, uh, to talk. Are the you still with me? Could you yeah. please tell me your name? Cassidy. Uh, did, did you say Cassidy? Okay, uh, how old are you? Do you remember what how old did she say she nine? Oh my god. That's brutal, isn't it? Do you remember what happened to you? What's the last thing you remember? Well, prop murder. I'm so sorry. I know you're not the only one. 
were you alone? The Cassidy was the worst one, right? Apparently. Others. Who, who was with you? Gabriel. Gabriel Moy, right? Is the theory that there's two souls inside Golden Freddy? Are you still with me? Cassidy? Does that say dark? Too dark to see others. Cassidy, are, are you still with me? She's telling you to run. No more. No more questions? No more questions. Okay, I don't think she likes me. Oh my god, okay, wow, this guy has no survival instincts whatsoever. Yeah, it's time to leave. Get out, my... What are you doing? What does this mean? Huh? It's saying to get out. There's going to be something behind you. Listen, we have footage on my cameras of a yellow bunny luring you all to the back room where you were murdered in cold blood. And we already have a suspect behind bars, but I'm not buying So I'm going to ask you one more fucking time. Whoa! Who is your killer? Because I need to know right now. Whoa! Calm down. He says he's telling this person to calm down after doing what? Get, get me out of here! Oh, now it's too late, my guy. Like j Jesus. Oh, uh, nothing happened. There's someone behind you. What the hell was that? What? What just got that guy? Was he smacked from behind? I don't understand. Go in there and just pushing, like, literally a sleeping bear. Like, prodding a sleeping bear. Quite literally, a sleeping bear. Animatronic bear. And then acting like, oh, God, what, why are you getting all weird when, you know what I mean? It is what it is. But that was, that was another good video right there. That's Yellow Bear by Valux, guys. Be sure to go like and subscribe. All that good stuff. So this next video is the one that I can't remember what was recommended to me or who it was recommended by, but it was recommended a couple of times, I believe, in the past. It's called Appalachian Analog Horror Forest Folk, the second tape. We've already watched the first tape, and from what I can remember, it was about these entities in, uh, in the, like, this area that weren't contained and i guess were killing people in brutal ways and it kind of ended with this map saying they haven't been contained in the foothills or something like that so i'm guessing this is a continuation of that one you should go watch the first one if you haven't this is by bam and here's what the description says i was curious about this tape it is significantly more damaged than it was in the video depicted of it in the 90s who found that footage and put it on the tape itself this VHS tape is pretty cursed. I decided to upload the video completely unedited this time, for authenticity's sake. There were mentions that a third tape is out there and possibly the final one. This makes me question something though. Is someone watching me? I decided to do some digging and I found this snippet from a local newspaper from the mid 90s and it follows. The incident unfolded on a seemingly ordinary evening when a vehicle careened off the road and into the dense woods bordering Ro Roby Martin Road the impact was forceful enough to raise concerns about the occupant's well-being. However, upon arriving at the scene, first responders were greeted with a perplexing scene, an empty car damaged but devoid of any human presence. The Patterson Times. What happened to the, ma the man in the video, or the woman for that matter? There has to be someone else behind all of this. Who could it be? This is a conspiracy for the ages. Here we go, let's jump in. Appalachian Analog Horror by Bam. We're going to have a little bloody look into this, aren't we? Forest folk. I hurt. I found the second tape. My God, the quality of these are terrible. What were they recording this on? Missing footage. How so? We found another tape. There's somebody out there. Number two. Oh, 
What the hell was that? I shouldn't have done this. This was a bad idea. The following tape is a recording of a conversation between Dr. West and Dr. Steele at Dark Hollow Medical. This tape is to be destroyed upon documentation. Any attempt to copy or distribute this tape will be met with a minimum $20,000 fine. Dark Hollow Medical. Let's see what freaking experiments they're up to then, shall we? Or, you know, whatever the hell's happen happening. Jeez, look at that man's eyes. Dr. West. Dr. Steele. God, they look miserable, don't they? Okay. Okay, so why why is that their normal voices there? Like they they just in it, what what's that stuff you call uh, when you inhale it and it makes your voice deeper? I'm in the middle of something important. It's okay. Something's terribly wrong. His limbs. Okay. His limbs are elongating and his skin is turning pale. Rigid skin. God save me, that just said. Interesting. The call abruptly ends. Dr. West was never recovered. Oh, wow, okay. Dr. Steele denies his presence at the hospital that night. The anomalous patient was never located. It ran straight back into the woods, did it? Or the forest? Dark Hollow Medical remains off-limits to non-military personnel. Interesting. Well... That just goes to show something fishy happening. You're not allowed to access an area and they say it's military only. Yeah. Home is so far away. How did it come to this? The thing I keep seeing. Video evidence. It's like, remember, uh, Blue Hornets or Blue... What are they called? Marble Hornets. I forgot what they're called. The guys who did Slender Man. Um, it reminds me of that. This kind of stuff. Because that was the first time that was done, really, on YouTube, I guess. Kind of? I, really? I don't know. Do I remember the, the, the person behind the video was just getting paranoid? Oh. Did the uh, monster just fart? Zooming in. What is that? Is that a house? Oh, that's not nice. I don't like that. I made it back inside. I think it found a way in. Oh, dear. You silly goose. These woods are singing. Identification and classification. Pay attention. The help method. Learning objectives, ability to identify, ability to classify. Use the help method. Height, typical. Eyes, typical. Limbs, typical. Psychosis, none. Identification, human. Classification, class one. There's different classes of human. Use the help method. Height. Atypical. Eyes, atypical. Limbs, atypical. Psychosis, apparent. Oh god, that's loud. Class 2, infected. Incoming transmission. What the hell's happening? All unauthorized personnel leave immediately. Forest Watch. Oh my god, live footage. That looks just like a tree, that's Groot. Type mime. What does that mean?
Okay, well, this is very eerie. Just standing in front of the camera doing nothing. Video feed lost. Oh, now it moves. When the video isn't on, that's nice. It's almost like it knew. She drove away. Very confused, but she thinks that's me. What? What? Operation Spore Torture. What's happening right now? There's so many different things happening. Infiltrate guarded cave site. Retrieve specimen samples. Eliminate any perceived threats. Set off timed explosive. Head to evac site. Infiltrate. Uh, so this is... They're going into an area where they think these monsters are. Eliminate. Detonate. Escape. Oh, the cameraman. Like, you left him behind, though. Mission failed. All men missing in action. Oh, my God. If you find this, I'll miss you. What? Well, you don't know me, though. <laughs> what did that just say? What we know. Cave stumbled upon by Appalachian natives. John Dula becomes infected. Outbreak occurs at Dark Hollow Medical. Telepathic anomalous behavior is observed. Dozens of fungi-like entities sight sightings reported. Strange transmissions via television and radio. FBI sends in failed task force to eliminate entities. FBI sets up arcades as fronts to monitor electrical disturbances. Interesting. The last tape is out here. This is all I have left. Just got more fun. Oh, fun just got more fun. But only at Marco's Magical Arcade Grand Opening. So they're setting up an arcade to test for interference. So I won't, I won't lie, I'm a little bit confused as to what the hell was. I feel like there was a lot of things happening there, but right at the end it kind of described what happened there. I feel like there, there is a good story here, but I feel like it's almost jumbled to the point where it's, it gets a bit confusing to follow along. But I think that this has good potential. I mean, it's, it's a good story. It just needs to be a little bit more put together, I think. I'm obviously not going to just praise everything that I watch. I did enjoy it. And the only reason I give like criticism is because I want to see the best. And I know that the, the person, Bam, is more than capable of making something awesome. I hope you continue the series. Keep up the good work. Just try and keep it coherent. And, you know, try not to go over the top with it. And you should be fine. So this last video is by Beyond Birth. And it was recommended to me on my Discord by No Rizzle. So thank you for the recommendation. Beyond Birth usually does South Park stuff. And I believe we watched uh, one called Gateway to the Mind last time. That was also sent in by No Rizzle. And it sure, that was like based off of an old creepypasta. I'm not sure what this one is, but it's called 001. Uh, let's just jump into it. See what it's all about. Last video of the day, guys. Or of the, you know, upload, whatever. Have you seen this man? Jesus Christ. He looks easy to draw. Name John Robinson. Born 1955. Last seen April 15th. Before his disappearance, Robinson recorded a video that has troubled his, that has troubled his family and friends. If you have any info on Robinson, please contact your local authorities. Let's have a look at the video. It's just him freaking, you know that freaking song. I just want to be your Sigma. He's just singing that song. His family, friends and family are like, this isn't like him. He's, he's telling me to stick my gyat out for the Rizzlers. I don't know what that means. He needs professional help. Uh, Protomorph testing trials. Progress 40% complete. Status working. Side effects unknown. Predicted advancements. 
Uh, improving sales. Improved customer service. Secrets are kept secret. Okay. Psychedelic imaging, April 18th, 1984. Okay, so this was, wait, what? Three days of containment. Item 001 has been given large amounts of protomorph. What does that say? LSD and other hallucinogenic drugs. My god, he's going to be tripping balls. Item 001 has not responded well to the substances. Whoa, what the fuck? Item 001 will remain in containment until further research has been done. They're basically just melting this man's brain. Here we go. Oh god, was this meant to be like an angel? I would, yeah, I think I would go crazy if this is what I was seeing. Yeah, people have gone crazy from taking acid before, right? Like LSD and stuff. Because the, the things they saw just completely melted their mind. But like they just completely got detached from reality. What is that? It was like a Pokemon. So th are these the images that they saw? Because, yeah, I would have gone insane. It's making me feel very uncomfortable, I'm not going to lie. Right. What is that? It looks like a... Oh. Uh, I'm the one has stopped responding. Okay, well, he's dead. He died. He died to death. Here lies John Robinson. 1955 to 1984. So he, di he died in 1984. I mean, that, that is a very strange... What the... F what was that? What did I just watch? So what, he, he took part in some kind of freaking tests... And just ended up dead. And like the people, like obviously they kept it a secret. Well, there we go, guys. That was the last video. That was very trippy. I apologize uh, for, for the dreams. If you watch this before going to bed, I am very sorry. I think you're going to have some weird dreams. Uh, I know I will. And it's not even bedtime yet. But there we go, guys. Thank you guys for watching. You guys should check out all the creators. They will be linked in the order that I watch them down below. Go give them watch time. You know, go watch their videos. Go like, subscribe to their channels. Any support you give them would be completely appreciated, guys, because it does more than you think it does. And just little bits of kind of engagement really do help a lot. There we go, guys. I hope you did enjoy. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed this reaction, then why not leave a like rating, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.